KS Services is now offering preventative maintenance plans as low as $12 a month. Preventative maintenance is so important when it comes to your HVAC system. Let us come check your system out and perform our 22-point inspection. It's better to be safe than sorry. We have so many plans to choose from and special offers that go along with them. Call today for more information. 205-322-9090. Alabama license number 11120. It's the Weather Extreme video, the afternoon edition for Tuesday, the 22nd of January. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather wet tomorrow, then dry for the rest of the week and the weekend. Pretty good shot of cold air toward the middle of next week. Let's check it out this afternoon. There's the upper look and a trough to the west. Positive tilt. That'll be coming in here tomorrow with widespread rain. In advance of that, clouds gradually increasing across the state today, but the uh, day is dry. And it's warmer as expected. Temperatures are in the 50s in most spots. Tuscaloosa 55, Birmingham 53. We could see some low 60s in here tomorrow. And around the nation, temperatures are beginning to moderate up north, but still pretty cold for the northeast and out west. Winter storm warnings for parts of Iowa, Illinois, Wisconsin. Winter weather advisories from eastern Colorado up into the Great Lakes and parts of New England. Also, we note a few winter weather advisories for northeastern Georgia and the mountains of the Carolinas with a uh, chance of some freezing rain tomorrow as that precipitation begins there. North of us, a wind advisory for Middle Tennessee. It's going to be rather breezy tomorrow as the rain falls. Severe weather potential. Uh, no problems with severe storms through tonight. No thunder. Now, tomorrow... With the system coming in, we do have a marginal risk of severe storms on the Gulf Coast from uh, the mouth of the Mississippi River down to Tampa Bay. This includes the southern part of Mobile and Baldwin counties in the Florida Panhandle. Could be a few strong storms on the immediate coast. Maybe some thunder up into South Alabama, but North Alabama, the air should be stable. We don't expect any thunder. And on day three, which is Thursday, got a chance of thunder on the South Atlantic coast in South Florida, but no severe weather expected precipitation for the next seven days pretty big numbers for the east in alabama rain amounts generally one to one and a half inches and quite frankly most of that's going to fall during the day tomorrow should be a fairly good rain event so model fans let's go let's check it out this is the 12z gfs valid tomorrow at noon troughing approaching from the west and a rainy day cloudy breezy pretty good south wind with a tight gradient and the high will be around 60 in most spots. Uh, thunder limited down to South Alabama. And again, maybe a few strong storms near the Gulf Coast. Tomorrow night, the rain ends. And there might be a snow flurry on the backside of the rain, but no impact, no accumulation. And Thursday, the sky becoming sunny. And the high will be in the 40s, a bit cooler with a pretty good north breeze. Go to Friday. We start the day Friday morning down in the middle 20s. The high Friday should be in the 40s with a colder air mass dropping in here. And the weekend on Saturday. We start the day Saturday morning in the 20s, but we warm up into the low to mid 50s on Saturday afternoon. Not a bad day. The high between 50 and 55. And Sunday, despite a clipper north of us, we think the day will now be dry. Models have been very consistent with no precipitation. Sunday should be partly sunny. It will be well up in the 50s. In fact, maybe approaching 60. So a fairly decent weekend coming up. Go to Monday. We're still dry. We might see low 60s Monday. Oh, but here comes Tuesday. Got a very deep trough redeveloping over the eastern states. And uh, with the front coming down, there could be some light rain or maybe some light snow on Tuesday. Um, as you can see, the GFS depicting maybe some light snow. And understand, uh, uh, number one, scale of the forecast specifically seven days out is very low. Uh, whether this is some light rain, light snow, or nothing, we just don't know at this point. We'll mention in the forecast a chance of some light rain, light snow. Typically, systems like this don't feature a lot of moisture. But we'll keep an eye on it. And then the following day, Wednesday the 30th, Wednesday of next week, cold and dry. This pretty cold air covers the eastern third of the country. Let's go out to Friday of next week. You see a pretty cold look for Canada. Got a zonal flow here, and that's a dry air mass. Check the numbers off the European Ensemble. You can see Friday, the high dropping to 41. And then for the weekend, we warm back up. The next pop of cold air coming in here toward the middle of next week. Uh, we could be in the 30s all day uh, Wednesday, and then a slow warm-up after 
that. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. While I've noted the blog, the next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.